Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about a sexually transmitted disease known as herpes. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's start with the basic question. What is herpes? It is a viral infection that causes sores or blisters to form in or around the mouth or genitals. Now, we know that it is caused by a virus. So let's discuss the classification of the virus. The virus belongs to the family Herpes viridae. Genus Simplex virus and species Herpes simplex 1 and Herpes simplex 2. As you can see, there are two types of herpes virus. Herpes simplex virus type 1 or HSV1 and Herpes simplex virus type 2 or HSV2. HSV1 causes oral herpes, which usually affects the mouth and the surrounding skin. And HSV2 causes genital herpes. In this video we will focus more on the oral herpes. So, as we have already discussed that herpes simplex virus 1 causes oral herpes. Basically, oral herpes is an infection of the lips, mouth or gums. It causes small painful blisters, commonly called cold sores or fever blisters, which look like this. Coming to the epidemiology of the virus, Oral herpes spread most commonly from individuals with an active outbreak or sore. Another way of getting the infection is through engaging in intimate or personal contact. Next, we discuss the symptoms of the disease. There are 5 stages. In stage 1, there is tingling, itching or burning sensation around the spot where the infection would begin. In the second stage, there is formation of a blister. Third stage begins after 4 to 6 days of blister formation. And in this stage the blister bursts which leads to scab formation that is the fourth stage. At last after 2 to 3 weeks the sore start to heal which is the healing stage. After looking at the sore of oral herpes you may have a question in mind. That how to differentiate between pimple and cold sores that appear in oral herpes. So in order to answer that we should differentiate between pimple and cold sore. Pimples can develop over the entire face including the border of the lip whereas in cold sores there is formation of a cluster of blisters around the lips nose nostrils chin and the eyes Second point of difference is that pimples form a red bump and not a blister and a pimple is not contagious whereas a cold sore is As you saw there are minor differences in differentiating cold sore from a pimple which makes it harder to diagnose herpes. To get a confirmed diagnosis you need to visit your healthcare provider. Because oral herpes can be confused with many other infections including allergic reactions. Coming to the methods of diagnosis. The methods of diagnosis of herpes include PCR test, blood test or biopsy. At last we come to the treatment of oral herpes. To be clear there is no cure for herpes, but treatment can help manage symptoms and reduce the likelihood of outbreak. The ways of management includes keeping the infected area clean and dry. Taking oral antiviral medications like famcyclovir or topical antivirals like acyclovir ointments. And use of over the counter topical anesthetics or anti-inflammatory agents to alleviate symptoms. A point to remember is that there are no drugs that can get rid of herpes virus. However, the doctor may prescribe an antiviral medication to prevent the virus from multiplying. And the use of anesthetics and anti-inflammatory medications help to alleviate symptoms of burning, tingling, itching, and pain. There are some ways of prevention like using contraceptives and avoiding physical contact when there is a cold sore around the mouth. So that is it for this video guys in the upcoming video we will discuss about the genital herpes and its treatment don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on instagram links in the description